It was a day mixed with tears and laughter for Honorary Officer Abigail Arias. A final goodbye, but also a celebration of life for the seven-year-old girl who died after her cancer battle last week. At her funeral today, Abigail was called courageous, faithful, and even a little bit sassy. A young warrior remembered for uniting people, not just in our community, but all across the world. Our Brandon Walker live at the Grace Church in Southeast Houston tonight with that emotional service attended by so many. Brandon? And Dominique, depending on who you talk to, sometimes a lot bit sassy. The police chief can tell you that. That mix of emotions, as far as that goes, Abigail's parents spoke on that. Yeah, they're hurting right now, but also they're feeling grateful. And that's what they want all of you at home to know, just how important your work, your love for them, has meant to them. We were brave because we had God with us. Reuben, Eileen, and, and Ethan Adias hurt. Their loss of little Abigail isn't one words come quick to explain, yet here they are at Abigail's funeral, putting aside their grief. We get thanked a lot for allowing Abigail and our family for us sharing her with you guys. Instead, choosing grace, gratefulness. We thank you for being a part of our journey. For all those Abigail guided, and gifted. We've come to re the realization that if our God is truly sovereign and in full control, he knew she only had seven years to begin with. And that those seven years were gifted to us, we are forever thankful. I promise. I promise. To protect. To protect. And serve. And serve. There's no honorary to it. She wore that uniform with pride. I can only imagine Rarely does a life touch as many as Abigail did, let alone a seven-year-old. Maybe that's why this one stings so. So much life in such a little package. Mom says life has a way. Abigail left a legacy, and that's the bigger picture. With her wider-than-life arms sprawled out pose, she reached the world, and the rippling effects continue to widen. Abigail was laid to rest this afternoon at Restwood Memorial Park Cemetery. That is in Cluton. Bill and Dominique, there has been a lot of talk, a lot of coverage about Officer Abigail and her big heart. I think you can see now after hearing from her parents exactly where she gets it from. Back to you.